Hi guys, it's Taneli here. It's the week 9 of my new artwork every week for a year challenge. But this week I'm not going to be exactly creating a new artwork, but instead I will be attempting to recreate a very old one using the very best of the modern technology. In other words, I will be attempting to recreate Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci using Microsoft Paint and my trusty gaming mouse. Now the idea for this art challenge originated from these two different comments in a video I made earlier. So basically these two guys were betting whether or not I could paint the Mona Lisa and I figured well I just can't leave them hanging can I? Now since recreating an old painting isn't necessarily all that interesting from artistic point of view I figured I'll turn this one into a completely technical art challenge uh, with the idea being that how close to the original can I get with the bare minimum meaning my mouse and Microsoft Paint. I have no idea how well this will go but I guess we will be seeing soon so let's get to painting. So in order for this challenge to make sense for the viewer I decided to include another camera view showing my screen and my mouse hand so you can see that I'm actually painting with a mouse. You can see that I have set up my screen in a way that on the left side I have the painting program and right next to it I have the reference photo scaled to the same size as the canvas I am painting on. The reason for this is that it makes it easier for me to estimate distances and measurements on the painting. If you are newer to painting I definitely recommend learning ways to take accurate measurements and I personally sometimes also use the grid method when I want to save time especially when I'm drawing traditionally and it takes longer time to fix any mistakes. I also included a painting timer in the top right corner so you can see how long the painting actually took in real time. When it comes to my painting process I usually start by blocking in the main shapes and colors very roughly as you can see from the video and then slowly start carving in the details with a smaller brush later. When I'm painting on Microsoft Paint I usually start with the oil paint brush and later on move to the colored pencil brush for the details. If you are more interested about my painting process feel free to check out my full Microsoft Paint tutorial to which you can find a link down in the description. It's designed for all artists ranging from complete beginners to more experienced. Now when I said I wanted to use the bare minimum I meant it and that's why I'm not even using a keyboard here. And for those of you wondering what difference does a keyboard make I can tell you that it's the second most important thing after your painting device and normally I use my keyboard all the time to make various commands faster and to avoid moving my other hand too much on the screen. I can tell you that painting without a keyboard is really really annoying and it was one of the most painful parts of this painting challenge. When it comes to painting with the mouse, for me it's actually not really that big of a challenge because I've been doing digital art with the mouse for years. I actually get a lot of questions asking me which tablet I use and when I say that I don't use a tablet but a mouse people don't really seem to believe it. So well let this video also act as a proof that I do indeed paint with a mouse. Now do I suggest anyone learning to paint digitally to use a mouse to paint? Well not really. I think if you are just starting out you would save yourself a lot of time by simply getting a stylus and a tablet. So do as I say and not as I do would be my recommendation. Now there are other small things that I'm doing here that some people might consider handicaps. Like for example for this painting I'm not using the edit colors function at all. So that's why there are no new colors showing up on the color palette. Instead I'm only using the basic palette and I mix all the colors directly on the canvas. Once I have a good color mixed I just use the eyedropper tool to select that one every time I need it. I'm not really doing this for the sake of the challenge but instead for the sake of having the time lapse look as clean as possible. Now consider that I'm changing colors about every few seconds and this is sped up to about 60 times the original video speed. You wouldn't be able to see much of anything else than the color selection screen popping up on the middle of the canvas. I didn't want that so I figured I can just mix everything from the base colors directly on the canvas. For anyone who has done traditional painting mixing all the colors from a few base colors is a rather standard practice so I don't think it's that much of a handicap really. The other small handicap is also regarding the time lapse and that is not zooming at all during the painting. 
For me this is probably the biggest handicap out of all of them, but I just don't like the way the time-lapse videos look if the screens keep zooming in and out all the time, so I decided to paint all of my time-lapse videos without zooming in or zooming out. However, when I'm working on original art or doing customer work, I am definitely zooming in and out a lot and I think that is something I recommend everyone to do when trying to create the best possible artwork. For me, however, I consider the progress video to be a vital part of the art itself, so I want that to look as good as possible as well. Now, regarding this challenge, the most difficult parts for me to paint were definitely the face and the hands, because the details started being so small that it was starting to get difficult to use the brush accurately. But I feel like I got the general look down pretty well, and even some hints of that famous Mona Lisa smile. I painted this over three days as you can see from my changing shirts and the days changing to evenings outside my window, which ended up being much faster than I expected. Most of that is due to the fact that I didn't make any big mistakes with the proportions early on, so everything sort of fell into their place rather smoothly. Oh how I wish every painting went like this. We are getting closer to the end of the video, so I just quickly want to mention that feel free to join my Discord channel, to which I have a link down in the description, and come suggest new art challenges to me, or just come talk about art and life in general. I am also reading all the YouTube comments, so let me know what you think about this video, and you can also suggest art challenges in the comments. Since you watched the video this far, I would really appreciate if you also click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. That would help me out a great deal and you wouldn't miss out on all the future art related content that I will be making on a weekly basis. I thank you for watching this video, make sure to watch it to the end to see the final result and the comparison to the original Mona Lisa side by side. The last thing I want to say is that I am accepting art commissions, so feel free to contact me through the email in the description. That being said, I hope to see you all again next week, and one last time, I just want to thank you for watching.